Thank you for watching this video, YouTubers, Facebookers, Twitterers, all my fans out there. Welcome to another video review with me, John. And today I'm going to be doing another ramen review. You know I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but this is one I've been holding on to for a little bit and finally got around to doing it. This is a brand new flavor of the Fire Noodles from uh, Bulldog Pokemon, the Samyang brand. And this one, I can't, can't see there, so I'm going to show you right there. It's the Zhejiang flavor. It's also on the front, but I kind of ripped it in half right there. Anyway, this is the, once again, they're fire noodles, but this time with a black bean sauce. And as described in the pictures, you can see there's like uh, cabbage peas, and it looks like little chunks of meat. And in this little dry pack, there was things that looked like peas, cabbage, and even things that kind of look like meat. I'm not sure if they are meat, but here's like a little close-up of it. They're very small. It could be like a soy protein or a vegetable protein type piece. Who knows? Here's what the product looks like at the end. It's a very dark color, unlike the other fire noodles, which usually have a dark red. This is a dark brown color doesn't have a very sm uh, strong smell to it but uh, doesn't have like a I don't know, like you, beans have a smell maybe it might be it but this is very thick like as usual with the Samyang fire noodles you boil them up you get rid of most of the water leave a little bit left add the little pouch of sauce and in this one on the back, now I got the uh, all the, the Korean version of this. I'm not sure if this they've uh, made the export version yet, but everything on this package is in Korean. But you do say right here it says two in one, and it looks like the little guy is putting two different sausage sauces in one bowl. And I believe what he's describing there is that he's putting hot sauce in one hand and then black bean sauce in the other hand. So this is kind of like a two-in-one flavor uh, where typically you only have hot chicken flavor or the black bean flavor, but this is actually both together, two-in-one. Um, so then you put the sauce in and you, you do a little bit of like pan frying with it, but I usually don't do too much. Um, and it does get very thick. So let's go ahead and give this one a taste. So let's see um, if it's just as spicy as the other ones and how that black bean sauce affects uh, the overall flavor. Mm. Well, the spice is definitely still there. The noodle gauge in this is probably one of their thicker ones that I've seen that are just the round noodles, curly ones. It's not like the flat ones like the Carbo. They have gone back to the round ones like the uh, other versions. <coughs> I just know that I'm going to start thickening thing very soon. Sorry, I have like a construction crew upstairs, so there's going to be some hammering noises they get through. I can definitely feel my sinuses, my nostrils all <coughs> liquefying, <coughs> and everything's starting to flow from the the sinus areas and the mucusy pores. I would say definitely not as spicy. Definitely not as spicy as a double. Probably not as spicy as the the original. I would say it's it's a probably like seventy five percent as spicy as the original, if I had to guess. Let's 
Excuse me. I think he'd rather watch me wipe my nose than watch my boogers fall into my food. Whew. I'm gonna try a little bit of this meat piece by itself. If I can get it. Mm. That was an onion. Mm. They definitely have a meaty con uh, consistency and texture. But they're so small that I don't think you'd really notice it too much if you're just eating the bowl like a normal person would. As far as like the black bean sauce flavor, I'm not familiar enough with that Jajang sauce to know exactly what flavors I'm supposed to be looking for. But I can tell you this has like a like a deeper flavor than the regular fire noodles. There's definitely some some more earthy flavors to it. I'm actually surprised with myself that I haven't started hiccuping yet. Let's see if I can finish this off. Now, if I have to rank this with the other ones, it's probably not going to be on the top half. I'm not saying this is a bad flavor. Cause they're all pretty good but this one uh it just hasn't impressed me as much as some other ones the carbo one gives it like a a different like creaminess a little bit of cheesiness to it um the cold one is unique because it's cold itself the curry one definitely has tons of curry flavor well, like the Jajang sauce, I don't know if maybe I just don't like that kind of sauce. It's just kind of, it doesn't add enough to it to make it significantly different or better. Excuse me while I take this last bite. There you go. Finish the bowl of the Bulldog Bokumyun Jijang uh, flavor from Samyang Foods, part of Korea. Anyway, hope you liked that video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this one, I have other ramen reviews as well. Plenty of from the Samyang, but also some others. Uh, if you enjoy that, enjoy that kind of thing. Anyway, it was a pleasure having you for this moment. Until next time, bye-bye.